Welcome to the Tinkernet Commons show. Hold on. Let me use my real voice. If you haven't seen the latest video, you can click here. Otherwise, let's get to the comments. I've got such a cuddly face. I don't know why, but I for one find it so satisfying when I or others take old technology and upgrade the parts to make it work as good as or better than new. Thanks, Extreme Measures. I haven't felt this good since little Timmy opened me up for his sixth birthday and played with me for tons of minutes before shelving me with all the other toys he left behind. You could put a mode so that it repeats what you say using a voice changer. You can put a mode so that it repeats what you say using a voice changer. You can use a chip to control those eyes, mouth, and make the teddy bear say whatever you type in a web interface. That was one of the inspirations for this project, but it wasn't quite that easy since my whole dadgum brain needed to be replaced. I would butcher an Amazon Echo Dot, combine it with an Arduino, add a good speaker, stick it all into the bear, and say, Alexa, play my Wu-Tang Clan playlist. Will you do an amplitude modulated sound converter or a text to gesture converter? I tried a lot of diff... Do I look different to you guys? Weird. Father Doctor, you'll just have to stay tuned to next week's video to find out. So I know this is kind of unconventional, but I felt like I should address some of the comments from my behind the scenes video. I showed that I use a MacBook Pro for my video editing, and as expected, the fanboys were out in full force. So I wanted to just clarify, the only thing I'm a fanboy of is technology, whether it be Windows, Mac, or Linux. I don't discriminate based on a logo. I used to use desktops, but I needed a more portable solution, so about six years ago, I bought an Asus Republic of Gamers gaming laptop to do my video editing. And aside from weighing about five pounds and being extremely bulky, it failed to impress, only lasting about two years before breaking down. So I started specking out the hardware I wanted for replacement laptops. Again, I looked at the Asus Republic of Gamers laptop and the Dell Alienware laptops, but both of them ended up being about $700 more than the MacBook Pro with just about the same specs. So four years ago, I bought my first MacBook and have been extremely impressed by its multimedia editing performance. It's been running strong for four years when none of my previous Windows computers had lasted more than three. So does that mean I'm in the Apple universe now? Absolutely not. The sad thing is the new MacBooks that were recently announced have just about the same hardware specs as the one I bought four years ago. So if I do decide to upgrade, it's probably gonna be back to Windows. Sorry for the rant, I just don't like being judged based upon a logo. And despite whether you like Steve Jobs or not, and despite their failings as a company, we should still appreciate everything that Apple has brought to the technological community. And with that, I will thank you all for all your comments and see you all next week. I would love to see you bring a zombie back to life. We can tweak their code and make a gigantic army of... Um undead guys who are living this <laughs> We can rule the world together, Tinkernut. I will be Joanne Schmidt and you will be Arnim Zola. Well, that's my idea for the next video.